One of the biggest issues on the DJI goggles too has been around the fact that they're not very comfortable to wear, they can block airflow through your nose, but also the fact that you can't easily get the optics correct, you will find blurring, vignetting around the edges. Now it is heavily dependent on your face style and DJI did announce a new mask option for the goggles too, but as far as I'm aware it is basically vaporware. iFlight though have released a number of new face mask options for the goggles too that allow it to fit better on different face profiles and what we're going to do today is walk you through the different options that are available and then at the end I'm going to share with you my thoughts having spent some time with them. Now just to be clear I purchased these face masks myself I was not sent them from iFlight they did actually bundle in one face mask as an extra that I didn't order but I did pay for the other masks myself they have not seen this video before it's been published and as always my thoughts are entirely my own. Okay, so what we have here is three different options from iFlight for the Goggles 2 and the Integras. We have their Version 1 foam kit. This replaces the original mask on the goggle and this has a foam strip that goes around the sides and that's held on with Velcro and there's an included sticky Velcro piece in there. And then there's a separate sponge piece that goes in the nose area. Now, the idea of this is to be a beer bones minimal mask that gets you in as close as possible to the lenses. I find personally that I'm actually too far away from the lenses on the goggles too. If I push them in closer to my eyes it actually helps with the blurriness around the sides and that's what this is going to help with. However this isn't a mask so whilst it is going to get you in closer to the lenses it isn't going to be the very best performance with regards to light leak. We then have their version 2 face masks. Now these are both full face masks again held on with velcro we have an a mask which is the wide mask and a b mask which is the narrow mask now the narrow mask is definitely thicker and depending on where you're from will depend on what face mask is best for you it is fairly well understood that the mask on the DJI goggles 2 is probably too wide for most western faces but don't assume that the narrow mask is going to be the best option for you the standard wide mask the A is going to again get you closer to the lenses but still offer a good fitment for westernized faces compared to what is on the goggles originally and then we have the B even narrower mask which is going to give you again better fitment with regards to light leak if the A isn't necessarily the one for you. Now it's going to be quite hard to say up front which one of these you should choose if you're someone with this issue or that issue. What I am going to do is try all of these for myself and see which one of these offers the best overall performance for me on the goggles too but it isn't to say that is going to be replicated for you it is very much down to your face type but what I would say is if you're wanting to try one of the masks I believe the A is going to be a very good option to go with but we'll see what I find as we move through the video. Okay so the first thing we're going to need to do is remove the original face mask now this is very straightforward all you need to do is really give it a tug and it will come off there are these little clips that hold it in place on either side down there and down there and then you've got these little pieces that stick in but once it's removed that reveals the inside of the goggles now if yours like mine are a bit dirty the first thing you're going to need to do is just give this a wipe down and a clean and then we can start looking at fitting the velcro for the new mask now the nice thing with these new masks is they do use this velcro piece to hold them on and it does look like that they all have the same piece you can see there that it's just roughed up around the back where it's able to stick on if I put it on like that you can see it just holds in place so what we're going to do is now stick this onto my goggles and hopefully then that will allow us to swap between the different face plates Okay, now just having had a play, I can see that it has fitted on, but it does want to curl up up here. So what I'm going to do is just put a couple of notches in this with a blade. And what that will do is just allow it to sit down a little bit tidier and just allow it to relieve the stress out of the Velcro piece itself. 
because it is wanting to cool. You could put a little bit of heat on it as well. A bit of heat would help just stopping it trying to go back to its original shape. Just a couple of slits with a blade just here and there is going to allow it to all sort of settle down and where it's wanting to recurl it'll then sit flat and then pop it down into those areas around there nice and tight so now we're going to take the foam and what i'm going to do is put the nose piece in first and then sort of guide it round the outside there and there and really it is as easy as that we can now see it's held in place you can see it does stick out much higher on the top than the other foam and fitment really is as simple and as straightforward as that okay so to start this we're going to go with the dji mask now for me i get no light leak on the dji mask at all we have vignetting on the lenses and blurring around the sides. I always struggle on the DJI with that side of it. It also is really hard to breathe through this mask as well. I keep finding myself having to sort of tip it off at the bottom. It's not an uncomfortable mask, but it does put pressure on my nose. And it certainly is not the best overall with regards to how the optics look for me. It isn't massive vignetting, but it is there. But it's the blurring of the optics that I notice the most. Okay, so time to try the A mask. Now, this one definitely is different to the DJI one. I have some more light leak around here than I had before. If I look down, I can see light leak all along my cheek area. Nothing at the top. A little bit at the sides as well. But what it is, is a bit more comfortable than the DJI mask I would say I'm not seeing a massive amount of vignetting let me just adjust the lenses although the corners are still slightly fuzzy and cut off just like I was seeing on the original mask I have some restriction of airflow through my nose I'm gonna have to swap back to the DJI one I think in a minute just to jump between these two i'm intrigued at the difference because i can't see a huge difference on this one but i do think it is better mm. what it definitely isn't is solving all of the problems i have with regards to the vignetting on the lenses but actually it's pretty good it's comfortable that's for sure there's more foam on it yeah, I'm going to have to swap back, I think, to the DJI one between these two to get a bit of an understanding of where it sits. Let's now hop over to the B mask. Okay, so my initial thoughts are these are by far the best with regards to light leak. There is virtually no light leak on this mask at all. I can see a tiny bit around the edges of my nose right there. Other than that, there is nothing. It is complete darkness up, down to the sides. But what I can see instantly is this mask brings the goggles further from my face. I have more of that vignetting effect on the lenses. The corners are much more cut off on this face mask than they were on the others. This sort of aligns with what I was told by iFlight. iFlight told me that the A mask would be the more common one for Western faces. That has a similar distance from the lenses to the original mask. And I can see this one does bring it out further. What I will say, though, is this mask is the most comfortable one I've tried so far. It's really nice, actually. Really thick sponge. I can breathe through my nose quite easily. It's definitely not cutting the airflow off like the DJI one does. But unfortunately, this one isn't going to be the one for me. It is definitely bringing them further away, which means I'm getting more vignetting and more blurring on the edges. Now, the last one I want to try is this one, which is sort of that foam piece. This is their V1. It's not a mask like the other two or like the original DJI one. It's a foam piece that just goes around the edges. And then they include this piece 
that you can stick on with some sticky tape as well. Now, what I'm not going to do in this test is stick it on. I'm just going to place that there and place that on my nose just rather than actually sticking it because I'm not going to try this as a permanent solution right now. And I'm going to try it and see what it's like compared to the others. Now to do this, I think I'm going to have to put the foam on my nose rather than in the goggle because every time I try to do it, it falls out. Okay, so initial thoughts. By far, these are the closest to my eyes they have been yet. So I can see virtually all of the corners end to end on this. The vignetting is virtually non-existent. Um, lightly wise, actually, you know what? I'd say this is the best of the three. I'm getting no light leak. Oh, a tiny bit at the top. But let me just move the strap. I had a tiny bit up there then. But actually, yeah, there is like no light leak on these at all. Because it comes right into the nose. That is, I was not expecting that. I'll be honest with you. I, I thought the fitment with this just foam only would be terrible. But actually, that's okay. I, I will say I think it's putting a bit more pressure on my nose. Let me just unlock the screen. Because it comes out over the nose section a bit. I might need to trim that. And that would obviously, if I lift it there, I can breathe fine. It's definitely putting some more pressure on my nose. I'd say actually it's putting more pressure on my nose than the DJI mask. But what it is from an optics point of view, is the best of the three. By far, for me, the best of the three. It's not the most comfortable, though. It's not uncomfortable, that's for sure. It's it's It doesn't hurt, but I, I can't breathe through this nose at all. Let me just adjust it again and give it a try. Okay, so I've just adjusted the foam around the nose area, moved it further out so it's not pushing in so much. <laughs> Yeah, I still can't breathe very well. What it seems to be is because there's very little padding on the nose piece other than that very thin bit I showed you earlier, it, it it's just closing down my nostrils. From an optical point of view, though, by far the best option. I could fly with these. They're, it isn't the most comfortable. It, it seems to be putting more pressure on the bottom of my face, actually. Um, let me just push it up that way. Yeah, it's, it's not the most comfortable, but it's the best optically. Now, just going back to that V1 foam again, which is what iFlight have said is the sweet spot. Yeah, it's definitely better from a pressure on my nose point of view. But as I've said, from a light leak point of view, I've definitely got light leak around here. It's definitely a bit wide for me, this one. I probably need it to be a little more in. Probably what I need in a mask, having tested between these is it'd be slightly thicker at the bottom than it is at the top the top's absolutely perfect the bottom i'm getting a little bit of light leak but it isn't anything i wouldn't fly it's nothing i'm concerned about what i'm going to do now is just hop back to the dji mask from this one because this is the one they sort of say is the best overall option and then i'll give you an opinion between these two Okay, so I'm back on the DJI. Right, instantly, no light leak. So definitely better than the A mask for light leak. Up there with the B mask or that foam pad. That foam pad is the best. And this is, yeah, this is right up there with that. However, instantly vignetting is back. The corners are, are cut off and I'm getting blurring. Overall, comfortability wise, the DJI mask's okay. I am struggling to breathe through my nose at all. The A mask is definitely easier to breathe through the nose. Definitely um, a bit closer to the eyes and an improved vignetting for me. Okay, so to summarise, the foam pad is going to get you closer to the lenses, less comfortable, but definitely the closest option. The A mask is a little bit closer, in my opinion, than the DJI mask, but it is a wider mask as well. It is not as narrow as the original DJI or the B mask either. The B mask is the thickest the narrowest is going to move the goggle further away, is going to give you more padding. So if that's what you need, you want to go with the B. Overall, there are multiple options here for multiple people. I think for me, I'm going to end up continuing with the A mask because that seems the best balance overall with regards to optics and comfort in use.
Okay, so it's a few weeks later and I've had a bit more time trying out these masks. Overall, I've ended up sticking with the iFlight wider mask. It gets me closer to the lenses, but it certainly isn't the perfect solution for me. It isn't iFlight's fault. It really is the fact that the DJI goggles too are completely compromised with regards to their design. And I think DJI really did overcook it with how small they made these goggles. They should be about 10% larger and that would have solved all the issues. But for me, that wider mask is a better option. It gets me slightly closer to the lenses and it is a bit more comfortable. So if you're someone who has experienced what I've experienced, that is really what I would suggest you try. Sadly though, there isn't a perfect fix here for the Goggles 2 because the Goggles 2 are compromised with regards to their overall design with comfort and how easy it is to see the lenses. As I said in my review of the Integras, I actually found them better and that is really an interesting when you think about DJI have made some changes to the lenses there and we do believe they use smaller screens as well. But in the end, the design that they've gone through on these goggles has caused the issues. And for many people, the V2s are just better overall. I personally would be more than happy with a slightly larger goggle, slightly heavier goggle, if it actually fitted perfect. But that iFlight wider mask is the better compromise for me overall. Now, I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, please do let me know what you think in the comments section. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll try and answer them there as well. I want to say if you have found this video useful, please do consider checking out the links to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. I want to say a thank you to all of my patrons for supporting the channel. I would not have been able to buy this DJI system because DJI did not send me this. We bought this, the face mask and other things without your support. And if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making independent content in the future, please do consider checking it out. Anyway, that's it for me on this one. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.